Hi everyone, my name is Sarah, welcome or welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my very messy and complicated relationship with classic literature. <laughs> so, as you may know, I studied literature at university, so oftentimes people will come up to me and tell me, oh, have you read this book? And I'm like, no. And they're like, but didn't you study literature? And I'm like, uh, yeah, but I didn't read that book. Just because I studied literature doesn't mean that I read all of the classics that exist, and also it doesn't mean that I want to read all of the classics. <laughs> also, what a lot of people might not know about literature is that now a lot of programs actually focus on contemporary literature, and that was the case for my program, and it's why I chose it, because I love contemporary literature much more than classical literature. And it's probably also because most of the classics I end up reading, I find them either boring, not relevant, or just okay. Most of the time they don't make me feel anything, unless it's anger because the authors sometimes express very racist or sexist opinions and I'm not here to read that kind of trash. I have other better things to do. <laughs> Basically for most of them I can see the literary value of them but I don't enjoy reading them. Just to give you a couple of examples, I read Rotary Heights in University by Emily Bronte and while I did enjoy her writing, it's very beautiful, it's very atmospheric and eerie, um, the characters I wanted to push down that cliff, I absolutely hated every single one of them. <laughs> so, you see, I can see the literary value in it, but I just don't enjoy reading it, and I don't enjoy getting to know these characters. Another example is that I read On the Road by Jack Kerouac last year, and while it is really, really appreciated, and a lot of people find, once again, literary value in it, I... No, I can't find any literary value in On the Road. That's, that book is just trash. But there are other classics that I did really enjoy, like 1984, Animal Farm by George Orwell, or Notre Dame de Paris by Victor Hugo. But a lot of them were just okay books for me and didn't make me feel anything. Like, for example, The Catcher in the Rye. I just... I don't really have anything to say about it. And I'm not saying that my opinion is the good one because I studied literature, because that would be stupid, because we all read books differently and every single one of our opinions are valid and defendable. I'm just saying that I don't really like classics. <laughs> and most of the time I don't know why these books are still put on such high pedestals. And I also really don't like the fact that many people think that if you don't read classics you're not a real reader, and I feel like this is ridiculous and completely wrong. But now that I've said everything I really needed to say, here are some classics I actually want to read. The first book I want to talk about is Jane Eyre, because while I didn't really like Watering Heights by Emily Bronte, I still really want to read this classic by Charlotte Bronte. If you don't know, Jane Eyre is about this orphan named Jane who uh, gets hired by this very rich man to go and be his daughter's tutor in their very big, rich and weird home. <laughs> One of the things I really really like about Watering Heights is how the house is kind of a character in the story. And while I know that Charlotte Bronte is not at all the same person as Emily Bronte, they are both very separate writers, I think that this aspect is pretty much going to be there also in Jane Eyre, so I'm very intrigued about that. Also, I really want to try and read a lot of the woman classic authors, because most of the classics we get taught about at school are written by men, and that annoys me, but that's a completely other video. <laughs> so yeah, I hear that Jane Eyre is very, very gothic and eerie and weird, and I basically know the entire story, so I'm not going into it blind, but I'm still very curious to know how I will feel about it. The next classic I actually want to read is Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. I don't know why I just said that with the worst butchered English accent ever. Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. There you go. I actually thought that Daphne du Maurier was French, but she is actually British, and her novel tells the story of Rebecca, who is a young lady who gets married to a man who lives very far away, I think, in the countryside, and she goes there to live with him, only to realize that the ghost of his ex-wife lives in the house. So it's also kind of a Jane Eyre situation going on and I'm very very intrigued by this book. I know that Hannah from Clockwork Reader really enjoyed it and I know that a lot of people really love it. Obviously it's a classic. So yeah, I'm very intrigued and I'm kind of interested in the fact that there are paranormal or mystery elements to the story, so that's what I'm probably gonna read this year. 
The next book I want to talk about is Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. I read Notre Dame de Paris by Victor Hugo a couple of years ago and really really liked it, so I have been meaning to read Les Miserables ever since. And if you don't know this about me, Les Miserables is actually my favorite musical besides Hamilton. I love revolutionary musical apparently, so I've been meaning to read the original work for a while, but like I said, it is gigantic and it's really intimidating and I'm kind of scared that I'm just going to be bored. Because Victor Hugo has the habit of creating sentences that last for pages and that really makes you extremely confused or he will go on tangents and talk to you about like the cathedrals or Paris in general or whatever. <laughs> If you don't know, Les Mis basically takes place in one of the many French revolutions and we follow the main character of a large group of characters and his name is Jean Valjean and he is basically escaping prison at the beginning of the book and we follow him as he kind of gets mingled up in the business going on in the barricades in Paris. So yeah, I've been meaning to read this for a while and I love the musical so I think Maybe not this year, but one day I'm gonna have to read these books and see what I think for myself. The next book I want to talk about is also a French book and it is Le Comte de Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. This is basically a book about revenge and it's about this guy who gets sent to prison for a crime he didn't commit, if I remember correctly. And it's a huge French classic. A lot of people read it at school. I didn't, for the reason I explained in the beginning. And yeah, I think it sounds pretty interesting. I heard some mixed reviews from people around me. Some people really found it completely boring. Some people really loved it and it's their favorite book now. I'm really intrigued and I kind of want to know where I stand. I'm probably gonna just like it okay, just like all of the other classics. But you know, I'm gonna try to read it anyway. The next books I want to talk about are basically all of the Jane Austen books. Like I said, I really want to read classic woman authors and I have actually read Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I read it in French, which maybe wasn't the best decision I've ever made. I really liked it, not as much as the 2005 movie adaptation. I know. Mm. I really want to try her other books. I know that Sense and Sensibility is also a very popular one. I know that Emma is also a very popular one. Some people really like it, some people really dislike it. I also really want to try North Anger Abbey. I think I watched a movie for this one once. I don't remember. But you know, just all of the Jane Austen. <laughs> I think she's witty and funny and she has such a strong voice and I really want to read more from her. Also in a very similar train of thoughts, I want to read everything Virginia Woolf has ever written. If you don't know, A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf is one of my favorite books of all time and it is kind of actually a classic. It's a modern classic and I really really love this book. I also read Orlando by her and really enjoyed it. I want to read just everything because I love her to pieces. I want to read The Waves uh, to the Lighthouse. What are the other ones? Mrs. Dalloway I think the name is. I just, I just want to read all of them. I love how innovative Virginia Woolf was, not only in her writing but also with her characters and with the themes she explores and I really really hope I love all of her other books. When I was thinking about this list, I knew I was forgetting someone and I just couldn't put my finger on it and then it came to me and I realized that I have never read Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. And for someone who loves fantasy and sci-fi as much as me, the fact that I haven't read that yet is a scandal. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty sure you're all very familiar with the story of Frankenstein. It's pretty popular. I'm planning on reading it in the next couple of months. I know it's going to be kind of spooky and eerie and I cannot wait and I can't believe I actually forgot the existence of this book. Mary, I'm so sorry. The next book I want to read is actually a book that a friend recommended to me and she really really loves classic. We don't have the same reading taste at all. But she told me that she thinks that I'm really going to enjoy this one and it's The Heart is a Lonely Hunter by Carson McCullers, I think his name is. And I don't know a lot about this book, all I know is that it follows a blind man in a little town and we see like how other people confide in him. And that's all I know and that's all I pretty much want to know. It sounds like a really really sweet and moving story and I really hope I enjoy it. Si j'aime pas ça, je suis vraiment désolée. <laughs> and finally, the last book I want to talk about in this video is another book that I'm really shocked I haven't read yet. And that book is And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. This is kind of the 
mystery novel and the fact that I haven't read it as a pretty big fan of mystery novels myself is kind of weird. I'm pretty sure we have it in the house somewhere. Like it's somewhere in here, I just don't know where. Basically it's about these 10 people I think that go to a very isolated island and murder starts to happen and they all die one by one as they try to uncover who is killing everybody. It sounds very thrilling and weird and mysterious and I'm pretty sure I would enjoy this one. Also, Agatha Christie is one of Louise Penny's favorite authors and Louise Penny is one of my favorite authors so I feel like we might get along fairly well, me and Mrs. Christie. But there you all have it, these are all of the classics I actually want to read. If you have any classics recommendations, please leave them down below in the comments and I will be sure to check them out. Also, if you have classic authors that aren't either French, American or British, please leave them down below because I realized that this list is pretty freaking white and I want to change that. I hope you really, really enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!